record it. Okay. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so I fixed the problem. And it's impossible. Mm -hmm. And probably from the next week, I don't know what will be happening. That must be here. No, that should be here, 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 and here. Let's see. Probable. Okay, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, good. Uh, last part. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Uh, first thing first. Okay, so the, are you available to take the first exam on uh, March, March 28, 2030? 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 28, 30. Monday, what? I sent a message. Okay, message. Okay, so what did I say? Okay, oh, I am suggesting, okay, so let's have the first exam on the March 20 Monday or the March 30 Tuesday. Uh, March 30 Wednesday, it's March 30 Wednesday. Are you okay? Okay, so you will have no problem. I, however, I may, I may need to negotiate with another, another class. Okay, another class, you will have no problem. Yeah, if we can continue our offline class, okay. Oh. Yeah, so we, we got two cases yesterday at the window downtown. Uh, so then, so probably we will continue our lockdown. Yeah, who knows what will happen. Yesterday, we have two more cases at window downtown. So something can happen. Anything can happen. Don't worry. Yesterday. On the one day, one day, I am so desperate. Uh, so I am suggesting with another to another class, and how about according to the negotiation that can be changing? How about the next, not next week, next next week? Okay, we need to do that. Yeah, before the March, I I want to have the first exam before something exactly. And now, I over. Everything is unpredictable, but we can manage. Uh, even though we cannot control over the situation, absolutely. So control is one thing, management is different. Okay. Probably we cannot control over the situation. Okay. Because the happening is happening. Many things are not happening. Okay. Okay. However, we can manage. We can manage that those things. You know, we can manage those things. Okay. Good. Mm. Rachel. Mm. What is the definition of the management? We can manage stuff. Okay? What is the definition of the management? Do you remember? Management is. Oh. Management is. Telly. Mm. What is the management? What is the definition of the management? Process of <laughs> system effectively and efficiently through by people and money. Yeah. Okay, that is the definition of the management. We want to get things done in this environment, in this situation. Oh, absolutely, we cannot control over the situation every, no. However, we can manage, we can get things done how we need to do. Okay, and management. And we are talking more about it, the strategy management, strategy management. Okay, strategy management, okay. Before going to there, case B. What is the opposite of strategy? According to the article, oh, oh, oh. without fighting, okay? How? How we can win without fighting? Zero. What? How we can win without fighting? We need. Oh, oh. 
找我，坚持，努力啊，讲，啊，不给。So what is what? Yeah, Michael Porter conceptualizes five elements as what? Giving me one word. No, no. Five elements in English. Five elements. Five elements. Ready. Ready. Five elements. Michael Porter. Yeah, could not understand what is Tao. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he conceptualized just one word. Moral, moral. No, no, no. Tao is moral. But how about the? Do you think that the Tao is a moral? No. So these five elements is conceptualized by Michael Porter as just one word. One word. What is the um? What is the one word? An anna anna anna. It's like chita. One word. Five element as. Ding ding ding. Concept. Ding ding ding. 咁咁嘅嘢係真，精神面。What is that? It's in English. 精神面，精神面 in English. 嗯 ，competitive， 精神面，嗯 ，competitive， 嗯嗯 ，competitive， competition， no， competitive。Advantage, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Competitive advantage. Okay, and that is five elements. <coughs> So, if according to Michael Porter, okay, according to Michael Porter, business, but he is business professor, business, we can win over our competitors without fighting when we have those competitive advantages. So, main purpose of the strategy management is we without fighting with. So, practically speaking, strategy management is nothing, nothing but we create this competitive advantage and sustain it in order to win over competitors without fighting. Okay. Jump, no, jump, jump. 整整理，嗯，一，喏，走，下次打，整整整，整整，哎，哇的 ，How can I pronounce that？ 整整理，整整理，呀，同学们啊，来吧 ，OK， so competitive advantage is our main goal and objective to win without fighting. And because Michael Porter and his colleagues could not understand what the hell this, what is that? Can you explain that? Wendy, can you explain what is that in English? That, what is that? That, can, be, can, are. Can you explain that in English? Do you think that the English has that kind of sense? That's a limitation of the knowledge. And so that is related with the wisdom or awakening. Wisdom, at least the word passing knowledge and the wisdom. Probably in English, we don't have that kind of concept because they have a totally different foundation. Fortunately, or unfortunately, like before, he's a genius, he's really smart. That smart guy conceptualized this five element as. Competitive advantage. Okay, good strategy management. 
So that is the nature of the strategy management. And then if that strategy management is defined as like this. Strategy management is defined as consisting of the analysis of decisions and actions on organization under case in order to create and sustain competitive advantage. But competitive advantage. Okay. Good. And then oh there, yeah, like the for a purpose of lots of the different competitive advantages. And however, that originally come from this. Moral influence, objectives, goals, and uh, this is the environmental factors, and uh, these are uh, resources, availability, and the uh, manager leadership, and rules, norms, discipline, principles. However, though, I am talking in English, I am talking in English, I am introducing that in English, and maybe you would have a fair understanding about what those five elements. Okay, good. And okay, this is a, a, a practical the terminal definition of the, the strategy management. No matter what, strategy management is creating and sustaining the competitive advantage. Okay, good. And my good PC defined that the strategy, especially for the business strategy, as strategy is a process. Absolutely, strategy is a management. Strategy management is a small part of the management. So, strategy management is a process as well. This is not one thing, one, one try to manage it. This is continuous process, okay? Continuous. By which the basic mission and the objectives of the organization are set in the process by which the organization uses its resources to achieve those objectives. Goals. No goals, no organization. No goals, no strategy. We must start with the goals. What is your goals? What is your goals of the life? What is your goals of the coming to the window page university? What is your goals to go to the prestigious graduate school? Well, many many folks simply say, okay, because I want to get a good job. Why do you cannot get a good job? Because that's right. Yeah. So then probably it's better to think about it. What is your goals of your life, of your profession? Okay, we will talk about it. No goals, no objectives. No objectives, no strategy, no organizations. Okay, well, so that's the definition of strategy the process uh -huh, with basic goals. And then in order to achieve that goals, we will do something. Good. And Harvard, I introduced that the niche versus the three different approaches, the three different categories of the strategy. Schools, strategy schools, uh -huh. strategy schools, and prescription group, describing group, configuration group. Do you remember? That's totally new. I thought of you. However, let's remind you. Oh, uh, though, maybe we have tons of sounds of different strategy options, strategy missions, strategy something. Okay. Good. However, how we can understand those strategy approaches? In order to understand the strategic approaches, okay, and the Minchberg, Helly Minchberg, Helly Minchberg categorized that the, he he summarized that the ten different strategy schools, ten different strategy schools, and he published a book of the strategy safari, and you can read that book at the Google Classroom. <laughs> I share that cover. Oh, oh, nobody will read that. Fine. <laughs> okay. However, if you have a chance, maybe yeah, you, you can you you better you yeah, I strongly recommend to read that book. Strategy Safari. <laughs> so that uh he proposed he proposed that the 10 different strategy schools, 10 different schools, and how he summarized more and he concise more and he Categorize the three different approaches, three different big groups of the strategy schools. First, prescription group. I'm a doctor. You have patients, you business, you organization, you company, you come to me because you are sick, you have a problem. Okay? 
I give you medicine. Take my pillow, everything will be all right. Like that, if a company, if a business has a problem, okay, they come to the business consultants, they come to the smart bus, and then they got a medicine, they got a prescription from a business consultant. And those business consultants are graduate of Harvard MBA, MIT, MIT MBA, and uh, lots of the very smart mind and very brilliant mind who graduated the best of the best schools. Because I am smarter than you. Shut up, just follow my prescription. And then your business will be a lot. That's a prescription group. And that was really flourishing until 1990s. That is the reason why we hired a lot of the, the Harvard the MBAs for the business concern, McKinsey, Boston, <clears throat> and a lot of the, lots of the business strategy concerning habits. 1970s, 80s, 90s, especially 1980s and 90s. Because of Michael Porter conceptualized that kind of the conceptual advantage and the strategy management. Okay? And those strategy management or the strategy consulting firms, they try to develop that the universal managerial practice, best practice, and they sell, they sell, they sell those management practices. Mm, I will introduce that, those kind of best practices, tools. Okay? However, when the things are getting more complicated, it is not working. For example, they develop a okay, so strategy group as a prescription group, so Gary Hamel and the follow, and they develop the balance for cards. You know, the balance for cards. Gaber. Gaber. So, have you ever heard about the balance for cards, the ESC key performance index? Huh? Never? <laughs> you, you must have known that from the FIS principles from whatever. That is one of the most popular management practice. Okay, so based on those kind of the balance score kind of concepts, we develop a lot of the different strategies to operate our business. Whatever. So they produce that and they sold out that kind of the practice regardless of the size. Regardless of the large company or the small company, they sold the same product. However, for example, a drug, a medicine for cancer patients is working for the COVID 19. Same. And the painkiller, like an aspirin, 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 aspirin can remedy or the, can help the cancer patients. No. Every patient needs a different customized solutions, but they sold the same for prescription. No matter what, take this, you will get better. And many companies stop because they took the So, a few number of the scholars, they raised the issue. Hey, you stupid Harvard MBA. Why are you talking about we must customize our solutions according to the different situation and that we need to know how a few number of the companies are working well and why a few number of the companies are not. For example, from good to great, the book of the good to great, Jim Collins. He investigated and he researched more than 25 years in order to find out which company transformed from a good business to a great company. And he researched, he investigated, he studied, and he described what was happening on a great company. And then he proposed that the level five leadership, and then he proposed that the hatch of strategy, and he proposed that the humility as what professional will and the humility that is necessary for the transformer. Okay, that's describing. That's describing. That is related with the research. However, research can help you to fix your problem 
Unfortunately, no, we need a solution. So, Nietzscheberg and his colleagues, <laughs> uh, including me, <laughs> including my, I, I, I started my job as a prescription group, and I am now doing the describing group. However, when I was working as a business consultant, I was a big fan of the Nietzscheberg and configuration group. Configuration group is believing that strategy can be formulated by a few number of the enemy. However, strategy by itself, strategy can be evolving. Strategy is formulating by itself. Strategy can be changing by itself according to the different inputs from the multiple stakeholders. Okay, so the strategy can form. Absolutely, strategy is a living thing, I think. Okay, strategy is can form as well as that can be formulated by a few number of smart creative minds. Okay, this emergent property of the strategy allows the business function to exercise a considerable strategy leverage in shaping the future direction of the organization. That means strategy can be changing over time, changing according to the situation. There is no this is strategy. This is evolving creature. Strategy is evolving creature. Okay, we think so. Okay, good. So these are the three groups of the strategy, strategy group, business strategy groups. Okay, and then in detail there was to be the three of the, the three of the other ones that the strategy, strategy schools, strategy schools, strategy schools. All right, that will be fun to know, to learn about it, so what kinds of strategy approaches we have. Mm -hmm. One of the most fundamental, one of the most interesting strategy school is great man strategy. No matter what, if we have a great leader, he will do everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, we still have that. We still have that kind of strategy school. Don't you think that? How about the Tesla? Tesla. And what is the most competitive advantage of the Tesla? High tech? Money? People? No, simply the Tesla is the biggest competitive advantage of the Tesla is that company is founded by Elon Musk. Elon Musk, great leader. <laughs> great leader. Oh, he is the great. Competitive advantage, and he is the competitive advantage of the Great leader schools, and there are um, there are ten different very interesting strategies. Still, that is working. There is no there is no right and wrong, but this is just a disappointing. Okay, maybe yeah, that will be fun for you. Okay, so this is a rough understanding about the strategy groups. Strategy groups. So let's keep talking about it. What is the difference of the prescription group and the configuration group? So here, leadership or the management is important to make a positive change through the strategy management process. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> leadership or the management. Absolutely, that's important. So she will work together. However, there are two different approaches. Two different approaches. One is romantic view and the external control perspective. First, romantic view is a leader, is the key force in organizing success. Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, and Bill Gates, great men, something, great leaders. He did a song in North Korea. He don't know. He did Yeah, he will take care of anything. However, if that is good, okay. Tesla, okay. Steve Jobs, okay. Big Age, okay. However, all that they are right. All of that great leaders are right. Every day, every other moment, every process. So then there was a people. Why a great leader make a mistake? Uh, 
Okay. Here. This is a like, that, that is the reason why we call that is a romantic approach. Well, we just want to believe our great leader will help us. Our great leader will do everything for me. No. I yeah, that's possible. Many times it's working. However, in a very more complex environment or situation, everything is getting shaped. Every and a great leader cannot catch up everything. So then, hmm, no, it's not a control perspective, it's not a force system around the line of success. For example, your environment defines your success and failure. Even though you had a great mind, you had a great idea in the economic downturn. Okay, can you make a business successful? Many body say, yeah. Especially for the economists, for the policymakers, for the good thinkers, they estimate something and then they predict something and then they think it's kind of forces like the environment defines our life. Is it true? That's totally pessimistic. That's totally mechanical. Do you believe that? Do you believe your life is totally determined by your by your parents, by your country, by your situation? What do you think? So there is a word. What is the best way? To predict future work. Read. Not oh, read. Okay, read. Mm. I okay, so we are okay. Okay. Uh, is, uh, <laughs> what is the best way to predict the future? Oh, so then, yeah, because. When we want to present the future, maybe we do better to understand that we do better to analyze that the external forces, the external control perspective, or we do better to predict that the who will be my leader. <clears throat> what is the best way to predict the future? Yeah. Internal analysis. Yeah. What internal analysis? We just analyze everything and we just predict something. Like a business statistics. Then, if you predict something and uh, you can, yeah, you can see your future. For example, what will be happening in the Russia? What will be happening in the Ukraine? What will be the economic economic situation now? Can you predict something? Can you analyze everything to external external factors? So that, however, we must be able. We want to. We want to predict the future. Okay, what's the best way to predict the future? Oh, hint! We are visions. <laughs> oh, we are visions, okay? Economists use only approach tips, and uh, many religious people, <laughs> no, religion, well, many stupid people, they believe in they believe in a great leader. But I'm not. <laughs> What is the best way to predict future as a business problem server executives? We read. Don't you think so? I think so. What is the best way to predict your future? How you can predict your future? Because of because, because of the because of the calm down, because of, I was going to, I because I I I I am stupid in English because I have a due to my death, due to my family, not me. You can do it. However, you will define your life by yourself, by your hands, by your behavior, by your passion, by your choices. 
We have a power to create a new future. I am probably somebody of fortune tellers, astrologists. No. Fortune tellers say, okay, because you are going in the yeah, someday, okay, so you will you will die in the second time you will you will die 60 years old. You will have a two of better, you will have a two of you will have something, something, something. No. No. We can create our future. That is the best way. Why you want to become a good business problem server, okay? You can come to the object business. Well, that was your choice. That was your choice. Then you come to here and you are now making a choice. You are now taking something action. It doesn't create a bright future. Or what if you fail in getting a good job or getting a, a desirable something? Okay, and then you will fail and so that you will die. No, you can create another future. Oh, I never imagined I am becoming a teacher because I hate teachers. I still hate teachers. I hate teachers. Yeah, teachers, always, teachers always torture me. I used to be more a yeah. So I am teachers. Oh, hold on. What am I doing? I am teaching some. I am. I am sorry. <laughs> I'm teaching. I'm trying to teach. Them. Yeah. However, I didn't create. I didn't expect this. But however, the gradually is evolving, and I creating that kind of. Okay. Um, that I want it. No. However, <laughs> oh, see something is better than that. Don't worry. Okay. Anything okay? But do something. To create your future. Okay? Don't get haunted by this too. Romantic if you somebody will save my life. No. Don't. Some oh yeah, probably somebody will save your life. Okay, horror. Don't get dependent. You must build your life by yourself, by your head. Romantic if you no. It's not a contra, it's not a contrary perspective. Uh, so because I am surrounded by certain situations, I cannot do anything. No, we can't do something in any situation. So this textbook approach is is something unhappy for me. This kind of explanation of the strategy management does not cover this. No, this is not. I think that no, I disagree. So then I'd better to when you have a different understanding of other strategy. This. Oh, do you know? Okay. After, after, well, do you know him? No. no. Okay. Do you know do you know him? No. Do you know him? Yeah, yeah that's me. <laughs> Yeah, when when I was when, yeah, when I was dead. <laughs> five, five years old. Five, five, five years old. So, okay, see, see, this guy, he is a Michael Porter. He's a Harvard Business Professor, Michael Porter. Uh, he looks smart. <laughs> huh? Yeah, Harvard Business School, okay, professor. Pro, we call it, he is the professor. So then I hate him. <laughs> Because he is a good teacher, and he brought he brought a view of the shut up, just follow my lead. However, Michael Porter, a genius, smart, smart guy, and he brought up. He conceptualized the competitive advantage and the strategy management. And he developed and proposed competitive advantage. That's a start of competitive advantage. That's a start of the strategy management. Also, you are familiar with a value chain. That concept comes from his brain. Value chain, value chain analysis, uh -huh. value chain management, that comes from his brain. Mm -hmm. oh, Michael Porter mm -hmm. and strategy consulting. Industry technically inspired by his strategy management. 
And nowadays, he is proposing that the creating the share the value CS3, not CSR. Okay, so like this, he is one of the most brilliant minds in the world, and he is that of the strategist. Good order. As I described it before, as we end up his cancer, and the cancer chemotherapy cannot fix the COVID 19. If you use a different medicines for a different purpose, but it's dangerous. Okay. And unfortunately, things are getting more complicated. The situation is changing every day. We cannot take only one pain killer. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. However, still, Michael Porter, he is, he is proposing a kind of thousand nights. Really? Oh, I, yeah. So we will die. <laughs> so dynamite, dynamite is uh, something. They are they are now constructing something. Dynamite. Uh, dynamite. 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 Die. That's okay. So this is Michael Bohr. Michael Bohr. He looks, yeah, he looks at a, he's full of confidence. Michael Bohr, that is character. However, oh, so there is another guy. There is another guy. Emergent leadership or the uh, something. Oh, Mitchell, happy Mitchell. And Mitchell was a mechanical engineer at the MIT. Uh, he graduated the MIT and then he majored up mechanical engineering and he was working as an engineer and a production manager. A few years and uh, he stopped and he came back to the MIT and he completed his uh, business. Yes. However, when he worked as a business consultant and business problem server, and he did come back to his home, Canada. And he is he has worked for the four years at the McGill University. And he studied about the strategy management for more than four years. And he conceptual strategy safari, 10 different strategy schools. And he proposed that the three different strategy groups, prescription group, describing group, and configuration group. And he proposed that the organization configuration. Uh -huh. Maybe if somebody remembers organizational behavior, maybe you are familiar with this. Strategy. Organizational structure. So, okay. So, this is the basic form of organizational structure. This is a strategy of hacks. And this is a core. And this is a front line. And this supporting R and D, and the supporting the supporting thing, the supporting like the HR finance, whatever he proposed this organizational configuration, organizational structure. Okay, from this we started to look for the organizational settings. Whatever, Minchberg, a brilliant mind, and he proposed in the two thousand. He proposed many years not MBA, MBA. What is the purpose of the MBA? We want to develop the good managers. However, he challenged you. MBA program is keep failing in developing the best managers. According to Mitchell, I, at the time I was an MBA student, I had two MBAs. What if, okay, so according to Mitchell, MBA develop business consultant, not manager. Can you identify, can you get the difference between the consultant and the manager? Managers take a responsibility. Consultants just give up on the box. They have no responsibility. Managers take the action. Advisor, consultant, just keep the money. Different committee, different level of committee. Okay, so, which word? Critique. Hey, Michael Moore, my friend, you are wrong. Hey, 
and my supporter ignored me. What are you talking about? You're nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are, they are old. <laughs> anyway, so these two friends compete with each other, and then they are now still working. However, so actually, when I graduated the MBA, okay, I when I got two MBAs, okay, so I, I'm a big fan of the key. I totally believe that because I learned a lot of the business problem solving tools, I get to know about tons of thousands, millions of something. I can develop the best solution for a company. So then if a company follow my advice, follow my way of doing and follow my word, they can fix everything because I am smart. Microphone. However, when I worked as a business consultant for several years, and then when I observed what, what is happening at the strategic consulting industry and then in the business world, probably I am not that smart. I'm serious. I am totally stupid. I'm not that smart. I'm sorry, I'm not that smart. I try to know something. However, nothing is changing. Everything is getting changing every day. And if I catch up the one is of five technology and six years come, and some of the quantum bees come, what the hell is the quantum case? What the hell is the quantum network? I need it. What is not happening in NFT? What is happening in the BTS? What is happening in entertainment? What is happening in the social networks? I'm sorry, I'm not that smart. I also <laughs> I'm Mike Reporter. I'm not, I'm not smart like you. I'm sorry. And gradually, I try to. Hi, Dr. Lynchburg. I have this kind of problem, and I want to add, I need your insight. And fortunately, or fortunately, I had a chance to communicate with him throughout my former MBA program, and he proposed this, and he proposed the IMPM program instead of the MBA. So I was part of that. So then we I, we, I had a chance to talk with him and his colleagues. So how we can make our management education there? Then we bring a few number of ideas and blah, blah, blah. We, sort of, we, we, we made a few number of the interventions together. And I learned a lot. And a few years ago, five or six years ago in Philadelphia at the Academy Management to conference, I had a chance to meet him and say hello. And then I, I talk with him a little about it though. What is the contemporary issues of the strategy management for managers? Mm -hmm. I learned something. And he is a he is a big guy in innovation. How we can continue to make innovative, innovative ideas. Oh, he is very friendly, he is very kind. He's humble. He's short. <laughs> yeah. He's he's short. He's yeah, he's he's lovely. Anyway, so these two are the B behaviors. B in front of watches. Then what would be your choice? Yeah. Oh personally. I start to fear. Well, I am smart because I have two MBAs, I have three masters, I have a PhD. Yeah. But I get to know, no, I am not that smart. <laughs> Help me. So now I am a member of, I am a school of configuration. Something strategy can be formulated at the first, however, that must be change over time, change over situation, change by a group of stakeholders, continuous. And then 
this can be summarized like this. Deliberate strategy, okay? That is intended strategy, prescription group, my report. Original, original planning, original plan, original plan, intended strategy, and realized strategy is changing. Change the law. Okay, prescribed prescribed strategy is one thing <laughs> that is formulated by a few number of brilliant mind throughout the analysis, throughout the using of, of the smart mind. However, that can be die. That can die. Okay, and so then we stop strategy. No, no, no. We must change. We must change that strategy. We must continue to change that. That's a process. Changing management is a process. That is not just one change intervention. We continue to change. Then, oh, very good strategy will be tops up from bottom. We call that is an emergent strategy. Emergent ID. Emergent ID. Oh, absolutely. That is that. Intended strategy by prescription rule, and however, that is die, and that is something new can be emerging according to the according to the situation, according to the bottom of bottom of bottom of strategy. Configuration, prescription, configuration, prescription group, and the configuration, and maybe um. One of the best examples of the emergent leadership, emergent strategy is a very interesting product. Do you know this? Uh, give me a second. Do I have that? Maybe this is one of the best examples of the emergent strategy. System resource. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anybody know this? It worked. Okay. Work. Okay. Good. So, anybody know this instant rice? Oh, so are you are you enjoying this kind of instant rice? No. <laughs> instant rice, okay. So actually, the instant rice was developed and invented by a Korean company, CJ 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 Sweet sugar, sugar. Yeah, because that company was starting with the, the sugar maker. Sugar, sugar. So now that is the that is the DJ. <laughs> Jay okay. And around the 25 years ago, among my friend, among the my friend's friends, he worked at the Jay Jedan as an RD RD engineer. And one day he was totally unhappy to have a very dried up and a very nasty. The rice. And he thought, why? I can pack, I can pack the rice. I can pack the rice and I can store it. And then whenever I need, I just I just you know with a very good taste. Is it possible? And he tried, he tried to make that kind of thing by himself. Oh, he didn't get any support from me. When he 
he proposed that idea to the company and the CEOs and the executives and the, his boards, his manager said, you stupid, shut up, just do what you need. Okay, yeah, but that totally stupid idea, no. And he developed a, that new product at the first. Oh, absolutely, at the time, that was nothing. So uh, he proposed that and he tested it with the customer. Customers almost killed it. Why are you doing you more? This is totally crap. Then his original die, his original, his original idea was die. He proposed a strategy. Let's make a one shot instant rice. Not instant noodle. We have instant noodle, like a lion. Okay, and so noodle is what we we need an instant rice. Instant rice, okay. And die. <laughs> because everybody is happy. Oh. And gradually, a few number of kids, stupid friends who are living along, like a yeah, single, single, single man. Yeah, single man, we are totally lazy. We don't have time to do um, yeah, we hate teaching. But how can we want to have a place? So that a few number of stupid single men of his friends, including my friend, they support this stupid idea. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's better to make, it's better to change, it's better to change some characters up. We know that that was not a problem. But more engineering classes and cover. And then they, they import of different more specialized advice. And the key, they made the, they improved the, the process of the block. Improving, improving, improving. And gradually that loops like this. And they tested that product again at the market, especially for the single man. Single man. No, oh, yeah, single the college university, college students, single boys. Uh, Eddie, are you cooking? Do you like cooking? Huh? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Nah. Do you like cooking? No. Okay. Uh, uh, there is Xavier, do you? Are you good at cooking? Uh, no. But you want to have a good quality of rice. Oh. And it's cheap. It was cheap. Then, when they introduced this product in the market again, with a, with a better quality, and a, with a better something, after adjusting, after, after fixing something, Emergently from another strategy, then market reaction is cool. Especially for the colleagues. <laughs> and the single man. I, especially. Even. Steven, so are you enjoying the rice and the ramen? When you enjoy the ramen, you need the rice. No? You never? Ah, uh, right. So, yeah, maybe you will have a different department as a Korean. Yeah, Korean. Korean man. Stupid Korean male. Okay, we stupid Korean males. Okay, so think of that. We love to enjoy ramen. And Whenever we, whenever we enjoy the one, we need rice. So that almost immediately, almost immediately, give me a second. Okay, have fun. Yeah, this, this is that. This is, this is that. This is that. 
Yeah, this is a typical Korean male single Korean single male uh dinner. <laughs> what? Oh, we we survive like this. Oh, ramen is the ramen rice. Hepan, ramen. This is our dinner. This is our this is our survival kit. And when we are in the military obligation, when we are older, every the night when hmm? suddenly that idea are affected by people, especially for the male. And gradually that is penetrating, that, that penetrates the woman as a because that the woman is again more single. And woman, you also eat. <laughs> so then the market is getting more popular, popular. However, original idea, original product was totally out of there. Computer. So when you try to enjoy, when you try to enjoy this combination, okay, please think of the strategy. <laughs> DJ strategy. Okay, good. So that happens a lot. Good. Another good example is iPhone. iPhone is a product. When the iPhone proposed by the Steve Jobs, hey guys, can we integrate the mobile phone functions with our iPhone? Hot. Actually, the Steve Jobs made the iPod first. iPod, not iPhone. iPod. Huh. He derived from the downtown by using the iPod and his player. iPod. iPod. He made a great success in the iPod. And then one day, he Bring the idea, hey, shall we integrate them? Shall we synthesize the more mobile functions to the iPod? Possible? I don't know. And he proposed that uh, how about at the iTunes? Integrate the iTunes. In order to integrate the iTunes, definitely we need the computing power. Computing, entertainment. Mobile possible at the first, almost everybody sent to Steve Jobs. No, that's a stupid idea. Because at that time they had a PDA, they had a PDA system. Uh, probably you do not know about PDA, okay? And then once in all the tw only 2000 years or 2001, he failed in PDA. Oh, and suddenly, 2005, he proposed his iPhone. That's almost looked like a iPhone, the PDA. And everybody say, no. Hell no, no, Steve, you are totally stupid. And his proposals, Scrapped many times. Many times. He totally failed in the first way of people. Gradually, under the under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. <laughs> he worked hard to force it. He had a great he just as he made an improvement and then slowly it emerged a new device. That's on. Now, that smart iPhone on the next big change of our life. Over originally, that idea was not good. Prescription first. Strategy is formulated once. However, that is before. According to different situations, according to the different people, according to the effort. So we create futures. 
I think so. And however, many business strategy consultants still believe they are smart, they are brilliant, they can do whatever they want, and they companies must follow their suggestions and the business ideas to fix their business problems. They need to work together with them. They need to work, they need to learn from each other. Because everything is changed. We do better, we do better to make up better solutions in every moment, every single sure. That's an innovation, I think. Well, I'm a Hinchburg. I'm a member of the Hinchburg School. <laughs> Not my report, because I didn't graduate Harvard. If I graduate the Harvard, they make it. I will be better than my report. Shut up, you moron. I'm the brilliant of my guy. I didn't grab it the harbor. Everything is Fine. So, a long story short, strategy management is nothing but creating, sustaining our competitive advantage. Those competitive advantage can be understood by five elements that are in the top for you. I cannot say that in front of the American students, they, they have no idea about the one style being. Can you explain the one style? Okay, however, for you, that is your advantage, that is your privilege. You can understand what is the competitive advantage because that is originally from our world, from the That is literally so many of you. Okay, good. And there are Three different strategy groups. Prescription group, I'm the king of the world. Fashana, just follow my idea. I don't have a MBA, I'm an MIT. And describing group is what? Oh, there's a me. And configuration group, okay, we are not that smart. However, we are listening and we better to evolve it together. Mm. Which one is bad? Which one is good? Which one is bad? No, there is no good or bad. It has a choice. Okay, everything is okay. Barbara, though, please make a choice. Good. That is all. And then we learned about a strategy management. And then this is a composition of the, our structures of the class. However, I'm going to cover that. And from next week, from activity, okay, and we will cover the external analysis with a few number of thoughts, adventure, business problem solving tool. I propose we will learn about business problem solving strategy, business problem solving tools. Stop thinking, don't use it, don't believe in your brain. Stop, just use your tool. Don't believe, I don't believe in my brain. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm not this smart. Anyway, so we will do that and then we will keep talking about that. And until the March 24th, please complete your first homework essay. Oh, 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 give me one minute, one minute. Okay, give me one minute. Okay, so one minute. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, so I must say this. Yeah, okay. Please, one page. Okay, I gave you the template. Okay, don't touch the template. One page, okay, so just one page, and I follow the rule, okay, one page. And in the second page, you just let me have the reference, one page, in the second page reference, at least let me have the, at least two references, reliable references, okay? Reflection essay, and then what? And then there must be, there, there is a question, and please answer the question, and this is the example. So you can see this example, and then please write up one page essay, how many pages? Page. Okay, that's it. That will not be easy. <laughs> Completely it. Okay, that, that's it. I'll see you uh, next Monday. Next Monday. If we are not locked out, we can be there. Who knows? Who knows? Thank <laughs> you.